Welcome to BrainWorks Bottom Up. Our journey begins at the artistic x-ray machine where we'll do a brain scan. Your brain has four levels. Brain stem, diencephalon, hold up, stop the tape. What was that? I know, I know. That's a huge word for me too. While we're here, let's do a syllable count. Diencephalon. One, two, three, four, five. There's also something else strange going on here. Sometimes for Halloween, the letters P and H get dressed up and go trick-or-treating as the letter F. Let's look at another example. Does anyone know a friend named Sophia? Some Sophia spell their name with the letter F. Others spell it with a PH. But when we read the names, they both sound the same. Diencephalon. Limbic. Cortex. Let's take a break and try a creative challenge. Using stacking cups, we're going to create both the tallest structure possible and have the top cup hold the most marbles. This process is going to require critical and creative thinking skills. Using those skills means figuring out which cups stack the best when together and in what order. Another important skill to remember is resilience. Resilience means being able to recover quickly from difficulties. This can be a tough thing to do when you get angry with yourself after making mistakes. Mistakes are okay. They're part of the learning process. Don't let them weigh you down. Look, we might have a solution. The structure looks pretty tall. Let's see how many marbles will fit. All right, it looks like we are able to fit six marbles. Let's try again. Activate those critical and creative thinking skills. Hmm, this looks promising. Now let's try the marbles. That is definitely more than six marbles. I think we found the best solution. Tallest structure and the top cup holds the most marbles. Let's make a connection between the artistic x-ray machine and the stacking cups. The bottom cup represents the brain stem. The blue cup represents the diencephalon. The red cup represents the limbic system of the brain. And lastly, the cortex, the top level of the brain. Our incredible brains are responsible for everything our body does. Each of the four levels of our brain is responsible for its own set of actions. Some of the jobs your brainstem controls are the functioning of your heart, lungs, and body temperature. Fortunately, the brainstem does these jobs without us having to remember to do them. I forget to do lots of things in a day. I'm really glad I don't have to remember to breathe, and the brainstem takes care of that for me. Your diencephalon has a lot of responsibilities. Here are just four of them. It's what helps you balance your body so you don't fall over. It tells you when you're tired and need sleep. Knowing or being able to find the rhythm in a song or dance is another job the diencephalon helps you with. And lastly, knowing when your stomach is full and you've had enough to eat. Your limbic system has three main controls, emotions, memories, and instincts. It's when you feel proud of an accomplishment, such as tying your shoes, finishing a book, or helping a classmate. It's the part of your brain that lights up when you see someone you love and care for. It can even be the special memory of a favorite toy or pet. Lastly, the top cup that could hold the most marbles, your cortex, or as I like to call it, cortex marks the spot. Your five senses play a key role in your cortex. Tasting the difference between something sweet or salty, hearing and knowing the difference between a car horn and a coach's whistle, touching a mug and knowing if it's hot or cold, smelling that someone has recently made or burnt popcorn, seeing the blue recycling bin and knowing it is for paper, or even what the colors on a stoplight mean and which one is lit up. 
When in school, your cortex is running the show when you know how to get to the cafeteria or your homeroom. Knowing your birthday, the days of the week, and when it's the weekend. Knowing what you'll need at school for the day. Homework, wearing sneakers for PE, bringing your instrument, and not forgetting your library book. Recognizing letters of the alphabet. Which letters spell your name? Putting letters together to make words, sentences, and paragraphs. Drawing and combining shapes that make a self-portrait or a landscape. You may be asking yourself, is this important? Why does this matter? It's actually extremely important and matters quite a bit. Here's why. If we want to access our cortex, our highest level of thinking, the lower three levels of our brain have to be lined up and securely stacked. They must create a safe foundation for the cortex to function at its best. When the brainstem, diencephalon, and limbic areas are stable and working together, scientists call that special teamwork regulated. If those bottom three levels are having a difficult time working together, scientists call that dysregulated, and the cortex can't function at its best. How can I tell if I'm regulated or dysregulated? That's a really good question and something I'm still learning about. Regulated people feel calm and focused. They are in control of their bodies, thoughts, and actions. People who are dysregulated can be impulsive, often acting without thinking first. Their brains may feel foggy and find it difficult to come up with the right thoughts or words they want to. Here's what's amazing. You have the power to take your brain from a dysregulated state to a regulated one. Two ways to activate your superpowers is to practice mindfulness and breathing techniques. Thank you for taking this journey with me as we've explored the four levels of the brain and some of the important jobs they do. I have more gratitude in my heart now for my own brainstem, diencephalon, limbic, and cortex. Hmm, gratitude. Does anyone know what part of the brain that emotion is coming from? Thanks for watching. Brain works bottom up.